uh, we definitely have seen some issues in Accra uh, with regards to the reliability of GPS because it does form a core part of the experience in terms of calculating the fares, in terms of directing the driver to pick a rider up and uh, where to drop the, the, the rider off as well. There are lots of lessons that we've learned and we incorporate those lessons into um, the training that we give to driver partners both in Accra and now in Kumasi. Uh, one of the things that we do is encouraging drivers, for example, when they're using Google Maps to download the map so it's available offline. So even if they enter an area where the data connection is not consistent, they still have that data on their phone that can point them in the right direction. Um, another thing that we encourage them to do is to be able to apply their own judgment while they're using you know, Google Maps as well. Um, it's important to keep your Google Maps uh, um, app up updated and, and driver partners do do that. But uh, every now and again, Google Maps will try to point you down a one-way street. Google Maps might try to uh, tell you to take a left turn when there's actually no road there. And so it's very important that driver partners know how to read these cues and survey their environment and uh, be able to make the right decisions using Google Maps. Um, it's, it's critical to highlight that those issues have gotten markedly better over the years. Um, and we, we're, we're, we're going to be rolling out a series of, of innovations within the app as well, taking learnings from the experiences that we've had in Accra and in lots of other cities around Sub-Saharan Africa to um, continue improving that navigation experience for, for drivers. Mm -hmm.